So this is another piece that we always used in the garden. It was mostly for uh, planting potatoes and a few things where you'd want the seed a little deeper than what you'd actually want to use a hand hoe for. So we'd usually hook a pony or a horse to it and one of us would just ride it. And we'd make a row and, and we'd throw our potatoes in it and then we'd actually take another piece of equipment that I don't see here but it's a, it's a, it's a covering piece of equipment. You can just take it right, right behind that and it'll cover it right back up for all your uh, potatoes, sweet corn and all that kind of stuff. Yes, so thanks for bringing a very nice job. So you here at the Mule Days, don't you? We do have a history. Uh, tell me about what you got here. This is a, a single seeder and it's pretty cool because when the wheels turn, like our, the things that we get at the hardware store now, those seeders that where we crank the sides and the insides turn around and drop the, the seed. grass seed or whatever, this is the same principle. When the wheels turn, there's a mechanism inside that rotates that has a hole and your, your corn or your peas drop through every so often as you roll along. It, the history that I can find on it is a, used right around the turn of the century, so it's about 100 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Terry Mary and Crestline's Hot Dottie. Dottie's not a young mule. Seems to me that as long as I've been coming to Mule Days, Terry Mary has been a part of it. Or maybe even a little bit longer, huh, Terry? You like that piece of equipment, huh? Yes, this is a very unique piece of equipment. It's actually called a ground-driven seeder. It's, uh, you, you hardly ever see them that they work because a lot of times the inside gears rust out. But it looks to me this piece still works and the times when we use it the most is when the ground was really hard and it was just a little bit too much work to do it by hand so you just hook this here up and you could just put pretty much anything in the cedar and plant your garden. So very nice job. Thank you. Cynthia has a uh, tobacco transplanter. Um, her grandfather and her father, uh, her father when he was a little boy, rode in the back uh, planting tobacco about 40 miles south of the Ohio border in Kentucky. Well, and how old is this? Old. <laughs> you all notice that there, when, when she takes this through, about 100 years old, she says, when she takes this through, there are actually a couple of little seats in the very back. Plant and put it in the ground, and then a, a, a closer would close the dirt around the plant. Raymond wants to see these donkeys go to work. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cynthia Schlamm with Indiana Jane and Tickles. This is the lady with yeah. the zebra. This woman has some neurological disorder that has just taken her speech away. And that's why she had a speaker flu. Um, but she's still driving and she has a nine month old zebra that I got to go back. Since it's wild and she bites and kicks. meant to go fast because you got you got to think that the, the guys in the back would be pulling is anybody else seeing a piece of equipment like this at work for the very first time yeah look at the steamroller here they tell me that tank that she's sitting on is actually for the fertilizer
when you see her back, you can see the pyramid in her right leg as well. So the fact she's dry on By the way, if there's a Jamie Mighton here, we need you to go to the show office. Jamie Mighton, we need you to go to the show office. Okay, Judge, what'd you use it for? Yeah, I don't think he planted tobacco. I'll bet he's gonna say I have never seen yeah. anything like this. I bet he's got a story. He's got a story. He'll make one up. <laughs> she needs a longer whip. Now the ring number two. Terry Mary's mule actually did something wrong. Didn't like the squeak of the back of the planter. Might not like all the whips smacking. Cynthia Schlamm, ladies and gentlemen. You have to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jessica Porter, uh, one of the youngest entries in this class. Um, tell me about this piece of equipment, Jessica. What do you got? This is a 621-1900 Circa Oliver Cultivator. Really? Where'd you find all that out? Dad. Dad's kind of handy to have around. Isn't he? <laughs> Tell me what you told me yesterday about, about the importance of this whole family experience for you. And, and you've been coming to Mule Days as long as you can remember. Yeah, I've been coming for 14 years, so wow. it's fun because you can do a bunch of stuff with your family. Now, these are a couple of Merlin's kids that you're driving, right? Yes, this is Merlin's Misfit and Merlin's Mysterious Molly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, she's 18 years old. This is Jessica Porter. I'm told this is the first time she has driven this piece of equipment. Oh my. I'm not supposed to let the judge know that until he's done. And I really don't think it bothers her. Like, well, she called it a cultivator. So um, that's why I'm curious to hear what the judge has to say about it being different than a potato plot. Or if it is just different name. So this is what they call a one rule cultivator. You can use it for beans or corn or tobacco. Um, this is something that I spent a lot of hours on. We used it all summer long. And uh, I can tell you that when you use that for about six hours, you're behind, it's very tired. <laughs> However, it's still in very good working condition and that's something that was very, very used back in the day. So, great job, Jessica, thank you.